What's good, y'all? It's the Black Horseman. Shout out to the UGC and Troop Media. That's everyone that keeps it 100, staying true to who they are, and doing their part in this media. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit that bell icon so that you'll be notified when I upload content and when I do the live streams. At the conclusion of the video, if you like the content, smash the like button and leave a comment below. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Good morning, good morning. I'm on my early bird shit this morning, man. Shout out to the UGC. You know, look. I gotta put some respect on Eddie Hearn. I gotta put some respect on Eddie Hearn's name. Shout out to Bruce Vane right here on YouTube. I watched this video, you know, um, pretty much that's the first video I watched when I woke up. And um, it's looking like Team Ortiz... It's now begging for the fight. They was acting stuck up at first, like as if, you know, they had other options. Wilder is offering them, quote unquote, more money to fight, you know, later on this year. And um, I seen an interview on F with Fight Hype with Eddie Hearn, and he's saying, you know, I hope for uh, Luis Ortiz's sake, his daughter's sake, and all of that, that he is getting more money. But what a lot of people is uh, not talking about is the mere fact that how the strategic ducking still taking place on the PBC side, which is Deontay Wilder has no intention at all on facing Anthony Joshua, no time soon. He's already got opponents lined up, okay? And everybody want to talk about how, how AJ is a ducker and how Eddie Hearn is, is trying to protect his investment and all this shit, whereas Eddie Hearn, he exposing PBC. He's exposing PBC, letting everybody know, like, look, no, my champion does want Undisputed. My champion offered more than $5 million. <laughs> And he said he's going to expose him next week. As soon as he said he's going to expose him next week, these guys come out, oh, no, no, well, see, what happened was it was actually our fault. That's why I said, man, look, niggas can hate all they motherfucking want to hate. But truth is the new hate. That's what I'm trying to let y'all know. Truth is the new hate. When niggas say they're going to come out with the truth, hey, niggas get on some act right. They get on some act right. You know? Niggas coming up asking for money and shit. I ain't got it right now. But um, niggas want to get on some act right when the, when the um, truth come around the corner. You know? When you put that heat on them. So while they're ducking, and then Eddie Hearn, it's like, I ain't got no issue with the guy. You know, of course, uh, there was this created narrative that uh, Eddie Hearn was, was bad for boxing and uh, just all of this damn negativity when this guy came into the sport of boxing. And when I pull back all of the naysayers and the haters and, and get that out of my mind and I actually look at it for what it is, here we got a, a promoter who is a real fan of the sport of boxing. The dude shows up. He be in the audience getting excited when the fight is taking place. Um, I mean, he actually cares about the fighters. I remember seeing Tony Bell. You get stretched by Olazana Usyk. I mean, he was like hurt. You know what I mean? Damn, there tears in his eyes because he was like, "Damn, this is my friend right here. This got stretched." You know, it's somebody he passionate about a clean sport. You know, he was talking about how guys sticking needles in their ass just to try to um, get in the ring with AJ. And really exposing the fact that AJ is the real boogeyman at the heavyweight division. Without a doubt. Wilder ducking him. Miller juicing up. Same this shit, same shit that people was talking about. Uh that dudes was doing for Wilder. He's it's like equal opportunity employment over there. Like, it don't matter what nationality you are, all you gotta do is uh know how to fight, you know, be willing to face the best competition. And you, it's like, it's opportunities for you over there. This all got this money. They paying guys. Y'all niggas better stop hating. You better stop hating. You know, shout out to my boy Angel Santos from the UGC. Letting it be known. See, I got thorough niggas, bro, that I fuck with. Thorough ones. And they do research. And they understand that, you know what? This all got money to blow. Them niggas got money to blow. Pause. And so... Niggas don't like that. 
Because people want to talk about so much about Al Heyman and PBC, how they got the most money and this mysterious back end money shit. Well, if it was really that great, why Luis Ortiz is, is out here begging for the fight now? People are acting like Luis Ortiz's team will be able to make more money facing Deontay Wilder when he only fought, when he only got 500000 when he fought him the first time. Y'all niggas got to stop being biased and stop being stupid. Y'all niggas is being stupid out here. He is not going to make more than $5 million facing Deontay Wilder for that WBC strap. You know, Deontay Wilder ain't even trying to jump across that street. You know, as a matter of fact, AJ on American soil. And I guarantee y'all, at this rate, he's going to be a bigger star in America than Deontay Wilder. I give him about... Let about six months to a year. Watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you. Because Deontay Wilder has been exposed out here. PBC being exposed out here. You know, and Eddie Hearn is looking a lot, a lot better now. The zone is looking great. AJ is looking great. But you niggas still want to hate. You niggas still want to hate. Look, Louis, I'm a Luis Ortiz fan. I was shocked that he turned down this fight. Um, it sucks because it seems like it's his team. But you know what, man? Luis Ortiz. Holla at the zone, man. Holla at Eddie Hearn. See if he can sign you to a contract. You know, I don't know what type of freaking oath and mafia blood sacrifice contracts these niggas signing over there on PBC to where these niggas can't. Niggas be acting like they're their own bosses and they free to do whatever they want. Nigga, they not. So y'all get that shit out your head. These niggas is not free men over there on PBC side. They told what to do. These niggas got that doggy collar on their neck, okay? And anklets on their feet, some of them. You know? And these guys is told what to do, who to fight, when they can fight, you know? And I'm liking what I'm seeing on the zone side, you know? We got the uh, World Boxing Super Series. Guys is getting paydays, man. Uh, guys who wasn't even stars with certain fighters or with certain promoters, now they stars with Eddie Hearn. Devin Haney just saw, signed a multi-million dollar co-promotional deal with them. Hey, man, y'all niggas stop hating. Shout to Eddie Hearn. You know what I mean? Luis Ortiz, I like you as a fighter, man, but um, I had to give you that flame because Team Ortiz ducked the fight. Um, looks like y'all going to get exposed next week. And uh, this is not a good look for you. It's not a good look for PBC. So y'all let me know y'all thoughts on Eddie Hearn, man, and the zone. Do y'all feel it's great for boxing? Because I personally do. And um, if you disagree with me, that's cool. You won't get blocked. But uh, just break it down on why you think they're not good for boxing. I'm the Black Horseman.